top 10 Summerlin villages. And that's what I'm talking about today. So let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor, and welcome to my Summerlin series. As you may know or have already guessed, I am your local Summerlin expert. I do a lot of videos in Summerlin. I sell a lot in Summerlin, either resale or new construction. So while you're watching this video, let's like give me some love, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel because I don't only just talk about Summerlin, I talk about Las Vegas real estate and all the master plan communities here in the Las Vegas Valley, including Henderson and North Las Vegas. So let's just get started and let's talk about the top 10 villages that I personally like in Summerlin. Now, this is just a personal opinion. You know, what's that? It's my opinion, right? But living in Summerlin, being in Summerlin day in and day out, I have some favorite villages. As you may know, Summerlin is the largest master plan community here in the Las Vegas Valley, and it is actually part of Las Vegas. It's in Las Vegas, it's not a city, it is a large master plan community that encompasses over 22,000 acres. Uh, Summerlin has over 250 parks, 150 plus miles of walking trails. They have downtown Summerlin, Summerlin Library. I mean, the list can go on and on. I mean, Really, Summerlin should be its own city in itself, but it's not. <laughs> so I can't talk enough about Summerlin. As you guys know, I post plenty of videos on it. But let's go over my top 10 villages in Summerlin. And the number one village is actually Red Point Village. And the reason I chose this village as my number one village is because it's the newest village in Summerlin. And my favorite builder over there in Red Point as of right now is actually Tripoint Homes, um, the Overlook Collection, and I also like Kings Canyon because how it sits elevated in um, the Red Point Village, it's like further back closer to the mountain where you can get beautiful city views. If I had the money, and if I were thinking about selling my home, I would actually live in that little neighborhood. Um, over there in the Red Point Village. Now, Red Point Village is new. It just started being, um, it was established last year, like August timeframe, 2020. So they're still building. So there's not a lot of amenities there yet. There's not a park, but there will eventually be the urban core between Red Point um, Square Village and then a new village called Kestrel Commons. So once they get that urban core built, which will have a lot of shopping, eating, uh, lots of amenities, then this village will be awesome. As you guys may know, Summerlin West does not have a lot of amenities just yet. I mean, it is still super close to Red Rock Casino and downtown Summerlin. However, there's not a lot of shopping amenities or restaurants nearby. I mean, you have to go over the 215 in order to um, get them. So this village has the name brand builders. You have Pulte Homes, Taylor Morrison, Tripoint Homes, Lennar Homes, um, Pulte, to name a few that I can think of off the top of my head. And there's about seven different subdivisions in the Red Point Village. If you wanna learn more, I've done numerous YouTube videos on it, or you can always go to my website, summerlincommunities.com. And my number two village is Stonebridge Village. And again, this is another newer village. This was established in the late 2017 timeframe. Um, and the reason I like this village is obviously one, it's close to Red Rock Canyon and two, the views are breathtaking up in the Stonebridge Village and it's newer. Again, my favorite builders over there is Tripoint Home Sandalwood. And um, I like the Toll Brothers Shadow Point, but you know, you can't go wrong buying in the Stonebridge Village. And the Stonebridge Village is a 502 acre village that is just west of the Paseo Village. And again, it's part of the Summerlin West um, HOA or association. They have a beautiful park called the Stonebridge Park, um, which has pickleball courts, lighted fields, playground, very nice. Now, as you may know, Summerlin, all the major villages in Summerlin have um, a nice park, one or two parks to them. And if you don't know anything about Summerlin, Summerlin has 
roughly around 22, 23 villages. And what villages are, are like sections or areas of when Summerlin was developed. And inside those villages are subdivisions. And some of them are gated, some of them are not gated. So just a little FYI, again, I've done numerous videos on Summerlin. So if you wanna learn the history of Summerlin, go to my YouTube channel, go to my website. Number three for me is the Mesa Village. I have been traveling often to Mesa Ridge with clients and every time I go past or drive through the Mesa Village, I always enjoy it. It's very beautiful, the scenery, the trees. Mesa Park is awesome. The Mesa Village is one of Summerlin's newer villages and consists of 500 acres located just north of the Cliffs Village and below Siena, which is a retirement community in a scenic location overlooking the Spring Mountains. Several well-known builders have been involved in the quality home construction in the Mesas, including Woodside Homes, Richmond American, Toll Brothers, Lennar, and Pulte. Housing size ranges between 1,600 to 4,500 square feet, and they have single and two-story homes. The Mesa Park is a 19-acre park that features large open play areas, two lighted tennis courts, three little league baseball fields, a basketball court, tot lot, and covered picnic ramadas. And again, the reason I like this village is because of where it's situated. It's so beautiful. The drive going through it, the, the trees, the, just the greenery, the mountains in the backdrop. It's a very beautiful village. And number four village is the Paseos Village. And the Paseos Village was developed in 2003 and is situated along the western edge of Summerlin. This village spans over 760 acres overlooking the Red Rock Canyon and Spring Mountain Range. With dozens of neighborhoods to choose from, the Paseos offers a wide selection of homes and builders for every lifestyle. No matter where you choose, those incredible mountain views will always be in the background. This village borders Red Rock Canyon National Park and features a huge Paseo trail that runs the entire length of the village. This village also has two incredible parks. It has the Paseo Park, which is a 12-acre community park and includes a junior soccer t-ball fields, basketball court, sand volleyball court, and an interactive play area, picnic pavilions, and open turf areas. And the next one is Foxtails Park, and it's my favorite park. And this is an 18-acre adventure play-themed park that offers 20 play structures, including a 32-foot climbing tower, a zip line, a giant climbing structure called the Orange Beast, a disc golf course, custom swings, a climbing fort, and a spinning machine. And number five is the Trails Village. And this village was developed in 1993 and it is the third Summerlin village. And the reason I like this village is because of the park, the community center, and the Trail Center Shopping Center. The Trail Center Shopping Center has like Albertsons in there, CVS, Bath and Body Works, Einstein Bagels, Starbucks, Five Banks. I mean, it's the best village when it comes to walkability because it's right in the middle of everything and next to it is the uh, Summerlin Ballet and the Summerlin Library as well. One of the highlights of the trails is the 14 acre park that features a lighted baseball field, two lighted softball fields, the trails community center, a swimming pool with bathhouse, wading pool, children's play area, meadow area, basketball court, and picnic tables. They also have a trail system. I mean, obviously some, all of Summerlin have a trail system, but within the trails, there's a trail that's about 3.5 miles long with inside those trails are parks and um, beautiful places where people can walk, bike, hike, whatever they wanna do in the trails. Now, the nice thing about the trail system in Summerlin is when they developed the different villages and the trails, the point of some of those trails was that kids can walk to school by using the trail system without ha ever having to go on the main streets. They can connect to their schools. So just FYI on that. So that's one of my favorite villages because of the walkability aspect of that village. Number six is the Cliffs Village. And the Cliffs Village was developed in 2015 and is one of the newest and southernmost village located at the base of the Spring Mountains in Summerlin. The Cliffs is a 450-acre residential single multifamily village which features 1,700 homes and 11 neighborhoods. This includes the age-qualified community of Regency, which offers 425 homes in 100 acres. Now, there's very few new constructions left in the Cliffs Village, 
Regency has a few lots left and maybe Terra Luna has some, but pretty much that village is sold out for the most part. They do have an awesome park called Oakleaf Park, which spans more than five acres and boasts four pickleball courts, two shaded playgrounds, a climbing tower, central lawn, an open play area, shaded picnic pavilions, and even a demonstration garden. And number seven is Reverence. Crowning West Summerlin along the famed Red Rock Canyon, Reverence is a 300 acre, 24 hour guard gated community village developed exclusively by Pulte Homes in 2017. There are six different collections with 23 unique floor plans to choose from, designed for families, upscale empty nesters, as well as those seeking the ultimate second home in Las Vegas. The guard gated aspect of reference has a 9,500 square foot recreation center, which offers state-of-the-art fitness complex, outdoor resort style and lap pool, pickleball and tennis courts. They also have a park in reverence that everyone in this community can enjoy. And it's an eight acre park that has miles of walking trails, a large play area, amphitheater, walking track, volleyball, basketball, and tennis courts. So basically how reverence is set up, you have a main guard gated community that has access to the community center. Then you have individual gated communities that has access to the main park, but I don't think they have access to the gated, guard gated part of the community center. Now, the reason I like this village is because it's just right on the edge of the mountain. I mean, you can't go wrong with the views, especially if you have mountain views. And number eight for me is the Willows Village, and it was developed in 1997. It's a 731 acre mixed use residential village, which includes single and multifamily neighborhoods. The Willows Village is a desirable community located in the heart of Summerlin as part of the Summerlin South Community Association. The cool thing about this village is that there are three parks in this village. And the first park is the Willows Park, and it's a 12.7 acre park and features lighted fields, lighted basketball court, and a children's play structure, as well as a linear park which meanders through the village and includes a children's play area. The park is also home to a resident-only swimming pool that features a beach-style entrance, two water slides, and a fountain, as well as the Willows Community Center that hosts a variety of classes and programs for the residents. And the other park is the Willows Paseo Park, which is a 4.6-acre park that has four oversized storybook sculptures from Aesop's Fables, The Lion and the Mouse, and The Tortoise and the Hare. And the last park in the Paseos Village is the Spotted Leaf Park, and it's a 10.5 acre park that features two lighted tennis courts, two lighted soccer fields, a lighted basketball court, and a children's play area. As you can see, the reason I love this village is because of all the amenities that it offers, the community center, the community pool, and the three parks. Number nine is the Vistas Village, and this village was developed in 2000, and it's an 815 acre mixed use residential village featuring single and multifamily neighborhoods, the Vistas Village is conveniently located in Summerlin West and close to some of the best shopping, entertainment, and recreation facilities in the area. And this one has three parks as well. You have the Vistas Park, and the Vistas Park is a 24-acre park with lighted football field, lighted softball fields, with concession building, lighted tennis and basketball courts, a group picnic pavilion, a children's play areas, community center and pool. Then they have the North and South Tower Parks and both of them are seven acre parks um, that have play structures and shaded areas and picnic areas. So again, the reason why this is one of my favorite Summerlin villages is because of the amenities it has to offer, just like the Willows Village. Three awesome parks, community center and pool. Plus it's close to all the schools, it's so cool. Number 10 on my list of favorite Summerlin villages is the Summerlin Center Village. And this village is actually 1,004 acres. And it's a mixed use village, which is home to single and multifamily neighborhoods with five major office and retail centers. Homes in Summerlin Center have an ideal location directly above Red Rock Country Club and below the Summerlin communities of the Vistas and the Paseos. To top it off, downtown Summerlin is right next door. The Summerlin Center Village is pretty cool because it's actually smushed in between 
downtown Summerlin area, the shopping center and Red Rock Casino. Um, to, I guess you would say, to the east of downtown Summerlin is Summerlin Center Village, and to the west of downtown Summerlin, past the 215, is also uh, Summerlin Center Village. So it's a pretty large village at what's the largest, I do believe, of over a thousand acres. Um, so this one has a little better walkability than some of the other villages in Summerlin. Now, this village also has two awesome parks. You have the Summerlin Center Community Park which is a 20 acre park that features two full-size lighted soccer fields, a practice soccer field, picnic area, trails and children's play areas. And the next one is Sagemont Park, which is a newer park that's just really right off of Affinity. Um, and this park is a nine acre park with a lighted soccer field, covered play areas, basketball courts, tennis courts, and a connection to the area's regional walking trail. Um, it has shaded picnic areas for the kids as well. So that is the top 10 Summerlin villages in my opinion. Now, obviously all the villages, you can't go wrong. I like them all, but I had to choose. And the reason I chose them was because of either views, newer or specific amenities that these villages offered. I've lived in Summerlin or had lived in Summerlin for over 11 years. I've lived in the Hills Village and the Pueblo Village. I like the older villages because of the greenery, the amenities, and you know what? So what if it was built in the 90s? But if it were today, and if I were to buy in Summerlin right now, the number one village I would buy in is Red Point Village. One, because it's new, and two, because of the views. You can't top the mountain views or the city views. Let me know in the comments what you think of my top 10 Summerlin villages. Uh, I tried to create content that's relevant to what people want to hear and see. Now, if you want to learn more about Summerlin, obviously I've done numerous YouTube videos, or you can also visit my website, summerlincommunities.com, where I have tons of information for you guys. As always, if you like this channel, video, like, share, subscribe, all that jazz. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys on the next one.